Hello, welcome back to Gano Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I will be talking about the new feature of tissue add-on. Um, basically, there's, an, uh, there's a way you can kind of modify the weight on the surface of 3D mesh and using uh, this uh, reaction diffusion algorithm to get some kind of uh, interesting pattern. And it is actually quite interactive. So let's, uh, let me just get started. This is still, I think, still under development. So it's still, uh, if you go to GitHub, go to tissue add-on, find the development section. Uh, so this one, I'll call it tissue RD for reaction diffusion. So we have uh, just as a box here. I'll just subdivide it using subdivision surface. So we can have uh, the one with Cadmul Clark or the one with a simple one. Let's try with a simple one. And you can see the wire here. You can go all the way like six, six actually kind of like medium resolution. So that's kind of pretty good. Uh, don't go too high yet. Uh, just when you are experimenting, try with the medium resolution first. Um, so the tissue add-on, if you go to file, user preference, make sure you have this one. The one I have is this one right here, 0 0.3. This is the old one, and yeah, I think I couldn't install that one, but uh, this uh, should be, so previously when I use uh, tissue add-on, I use it for tessellation, like um, maybe using dual mesh, like when we are doing triangulations and dual mesh, we're going to get uh, some kind of hexagonal surface. Um, it's looking something like this. So that's what I use it in the past. There's a lot of different function of tissue mesh, but the interesting one is uh, when you go to weight paint, there is all these uh, new features where you can actually using math function to, uh, to using math formula to get a di different kind of weight. The one that really interesting is this start reaction diffusion. So this is still kind of new and I'm still kind of testing it out um, so let's close all of this and drag this to the top. So tissue tool from Alessandro uh, Zomparelli. And yeah, so basically we, we can do the weight, uh, weight paint manually, right? But uh, what's interesting is that when we, uh, this is when you paint the weight, uh, paint weight, you get a group. But when you start the reaction diffusion, this one is going to be, uh, there's this A and B get created uh, by default. And yeah, basically you start painting on the B or on the A. So I think that's like zero and one. It's kind of like uh, when talking about reaction diffusion, the way I look at it is like, um, kind of like two ha you have like two different substance and you kind of mix it together. And the algorithm is kind of trying to get the two mixing and kind of uh, settle into one pattern so this is the default options steps 10 with all this uh, coefficient that you can change but normally they are really really uh, really really sensitive so you have to be careful with the number but give it a try anyway steps uh, so far I have only used the uh, step 10 and you can see as soon as I run the playback it's starting to generate this kind of a uh, typical reaction diffusion pattern. It's kind of, in a way, it's kind of like a uh, kind of like blurring, blurring the weight, and then also kind of sharpen the weight back, and then blurring it again until they two kind of mix together. And you can run it like forever, but I, I'm gonna stop it right there. So it's getting a bit slow because I'm recording as well. So you can stop it halfway and then kind of adding new pattern around it. The cool thing is that eventually they're gonna kind of settle and create a, a interesting pattern. So let's try it again. Just wait a few seconds more. The pattern is similar to what you might see in the it's not like a Voronoi pattern, it's not like zebra or giraffe, it's more like a, something you might find in a lizard or some kind of 
underwater creatures. Um, and this one is doing it on, on the surface. Uh, it's not 3D yet. I'm not sure. Uh, for 3D, I think you might need like some kind of volumetric. Um, yeah, so I think this is already kind of settled, so I'm going to stop it. So it's settled right there. Stop it. And I will stop the reaction diffusion. Cool. Look at this. We get this kind of pattern very, very quickly, very easily. Normally, it's, it's pretty hard. Uh, let's save this. And what else we can do with it? Okay, at the most basic level, you can now do the weight contouring, whether you're going to curve it or displace it. But the one that I really like is the contour mask. Click on it and then start dragging this while holding shift until you can see the pattern. So it's basically kind of like a kind of clamping, clamping the pattern. I wish I can actually animate this. It's kind of doing like a mask in the in the modifier. So I let's say I quite like that, and you can see in the in the outliner we actually have the we have a new surface. This guy right here. We have the original, which is this guy. So now we end up with this really cool pattern and let's have a look at the modifier it's a uh, we don't have the mask modifier we just have a solidify so the solidify you can play around with the thickness of course make it smooth subdivide it so it's looking quite nice see go inside it and look at this it, this is just a box now it's, uh, it's having this really beautiful pattern um, and you probably can print it out if, if they are not like floating maybe you have to kind of combine some of these but it's really beautiful so that's one let's try again on this guy right here let's try a different it's different setting so let's do it like this apply and let's do it again go to weight paint and then start reaction diffusion and start painting. You can do some kind of abstract painting. Um, one thing with reaction diffusions, even though the pattern is kind of uh, familiar, they never be the same pattern because you, you can always draw it yourself. You start with a certain kind of uh, arrangement. Yeah, just something like this. And then you maybe you can even switch to this guy and then paint it using different weight. Um, maybe strength of zero. Oops. Okay, that's the opposite of the weight. I think this should be interesting to see the result. Okay. Yep, that's pretty good. And so, just maybe run the reaction diffusion now. Okay, it's already doing something. Just run it, and you're gonna get totally different pattern. See, it's a it's, it's a bit faster now, somehow. Wait until it settles. This one has different color. It's more like greenish. Normally, I think green means they are settled. Green and blue. I'll still keep going. Okay, okay. I think this is pretty good. And so I'm just going to stop it. And let's do a contour curve this time. Instead of contour mass or displace, let's do a contour curve. And then you can see there's a slightly different setting. I'm just gonna change this a bit minimum maximum radius try and play around with this value uh, maximum value cannot go over one and this one just increase it a little bit okay there you go that's that's what you're gonna get with the with the curve um, what is it called contour and so yeah that's quite nice and this is a curve so in Blender, you can play around with the depth. 
and uh, also the resolution and you can smooth it I think looking really nice so that's two example maybe I should do one more um, with the face so let's try this okay this is I think my dad's face um, let's go back file save as paste it okay so this one looks pretty heavy I should have uh, reduced it somehow let's go anyway let's go with this weight paint and start reaction diffusion let's go a little bit higher 15 and then start painting so oops um, the paint okay let's see let's uh, let's draw something oh this is like uh, much higher in resolution but you, you can see what's going on it's already kind of drawing the <clears throat> the reaction diffusion why is it because I'm actually at frame 150 or something and so this already kind of processing my drawing on the fly so this is kind of nice it's probably kind of a uh, closer for it being settled let's uh, paint this a little bit more okay let's run it oh it's actually kind of uh, what happened just now is seems like they are kind of already merging so that's not good <laughs> that's new let's start it again from the very beginning And this one I can delete. Somehow it's not behaving properly. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe my step is a bit high. So maybe it's a good idea to delete everything and start again. Uh, stop reaction diffusion. Start it again. Let's try painting. This one seems a bit hard somehow <clears throat> but I have uh, an example where it's already completed so yeah that's a uh, so it's happening now it's a bit better it's kind of painting while it's uh, trying to settle into pattern So there is like a what I like about reaction diffusion is that uh, there's a bit of control for you as an artist. It's not like uh, just letting it happening and creating the same pattern. There's a lot of variations that you can create. I have a feeling that uh, this guy also yeah okay i think i need to apply the subsurface um so that's uh, maybe that's why let me stop that go back to beginning so now it's it uh, it is doing it on the much more dense surface and you can see reaction diffusion happening and and the, re the result is much more complicated maybe I should just stop this and show you the final result it can get pretty heavy so I'm trying to stop it okay cool so this one is pretty it's pretty cool we can stop it and use the contour displays and just assign it anyway seems like it's uh, it's exploding there's there's uh, some kind of influence of the weighting but I think the value is too small okay never mind with this guy I have the one that's already completed which is this one so that's what you can create um, using this uh, setup and delete it so there you go rx90 
replace it there. So that's a uh, yeah. So that's reaction diffusion using tissue add-on. Basically, um, you need to give it a try. Just uh, uh, just experiment with it with the weighting, and then try using maybe start with a grid, just a simple plane, and subdivide it until you're happy, and then you just play around with the weighting. Um, see what you can come out with. Let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully this is use uh, useful, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.